in this problem, notice it says simplify. It doesn't say solve, and there's no equal sign, so there's nothing to solve here. So the only thing we can do is simplify. And what I observe here is that there's a minus sign, and that's subtracting everything inside these, this set of parentheses, right? So this minus sign applies to this term, this term, and this term. It doesn't apply to these terms, so these terms are just being combined, they're just being added, right? So look, I'm going to copy these terms, just copy them. Now I'm subtracting 6x squared, so I'm going to subtract 6x squared. This set, I'm subtracting negative 11. This is negative and negative, that becomes positive. Okay, subtracting negative 11 becomes positive 11, and subtracting six becomes negative six. Okay, so notice I was saying, oh, I subtracted, I subtracted, I subtracted. You could also view this as, like, I'm multiplying this by negative one. Negative one times positive six, negative six. Negative one times negative 11, positive 11. Negative one times positive six, negative six. Okay, and then my next step is I'm going to combine my like terms. So these both have x squared. 10 minus 6 is 4x squared. Then I'm going to combine these like terms. That's negative 8 plus 11. In this case, I have more positives than negatives, right? Um, and I have, this is basically the same as 11 minus 8. And then here I have 15, take away 6, and that's 9.